Matthew Moore's MMO Studio. Today is Wednesday, June 21st, which means it's time for another shop update. Woo! All right, so what's been going on in the shop this week? Well, a lot, as you can see, it's painted. There's lights, there's tools up, the wood racks up. Uh, the, the, it's just a lot of stuff. So we, without further ado, let's get into it. So the last time I left you, I had just finished painting the small machinery room. After that, it was time to paint the rest of the place. And I finally gave up and bought a sprayer. And I end up spraying this entire large section right here. Front to back, the ceiling, everything inside. Um, and that took five gallons of paint. I sprayed one coat here and that was great. It got me really far ahead, did that in one night. And I came back and finished power rolling the rest of the place. So believe it or not, so far, 15 gallons of paint. I've got another five gallon here to help finish off a little bit left of the entryway. So in total, somewhere close, probably, to 17 to 18 gallons of paint for this entire area, which is a lot of paint to paint. Trust me, it's a lot. Um, but once that was painted, it was time to put up these lights. And boy, they are bright. Check it out. One switch, the whole thing shuts off, comes right back up and you're ready to work. And it's, I'm really jazzed. There's 24 lights in total um, between the two spaces. I've got five left to put up. But once the lights were up and everything was good, it was time to start focusing on getting some of the stuff out of the way. And to me, that meant the wood rack. I got that bad boy up. So that was a big deal. I had to get that up because I had tons of wood on the floor over here just in my way from walking around. I was always stepping over, I had it covered, wanted to make sure I didn't get painted. And that really felt great. It felt like, wow, the shop's really starting to look like a wood shop now. And after that, I moved on to the clamp rack. So once that was up, it was time to start putting some of the machinery in its place. And um, that was pretty cool. So why don't we take a quick little tour of the rest of the shop. It is where the bench is gonna go. And I've got the um, base for my current bench here right now. The top is just outside, just moving stuff around still. Um, and the new bench is gonna go right here. And then right over here is where I put the sharpening station. Unfortunately, I don't have a beautiful window looking out to a pomegranate tree like I did in the last shot, but I think this is a pretty good spot. I can still come here, look to the left and see out the windows. And then over here in this corner is somewhere here is where the tool cabinet's gonna go. Um, will it be hung? Will it be on a stand? I'm not quite sure yet. Um, will this table be here? Or cabinet that is? Not quite sure yet. But so far it's been living here and I'm just kind of testing stuff out, seeing where I like things. And then over here, of course, is the joint or planer combo machine. And back behind me over in this corner is where the new dust collection will be once it gets here. And just to the left of that is my bandsaw here, my Laguna 14 SUV. And to the left of that will be the new Delta um, drill press floor model, floor standing model, um, which I'm looking forward to. And then over here is the table saw. She has tons of clearance behind and in front to the left and to the right, which um, it's just gonna be great for a workflow. I'm really excited about that. And you've already seen this area, which is like the small machinery room for me. So I've got, as you saw before, the multi-router, sanding station, drill press, the drum sander, the routing table, the lathe. Um, I'd love to get this little bandsaw up too. Um, that I use for uh, making cuts in for, for upholstery when I'm cutting foam and other stuff like that. Um, and of course, there's gonna be some dust collection up here. I have my old dust collector and some other stuff that's gonna go with it and I'll get that up over the next week or so. And then right about here where I'm standing is going to be the new assembly table right here. And uh, I'm going to build that using, I believe, Rockler's, um, their metal bars that they put together for stands. I have that, the lathe on something like that and the, the mortiser on something like that as well. So I'm gonna put that over here, get a nice top on top of it, uh, maple or those tops that they sell 
um, at Thunder Sites, Rockler Woodcraft, etc., and put that on top. And I think that would be a pretty good assembly table. So I really have always wanted to have an assembly table with a vise. And I have an extra vise, and I want to be able to get that vise on the assembly table because I think that would really come in handy. That it's often enough that I want to have a vise there that I haven't had in the past, and that's something I want to upgrade to. So that's pretty much it for this little quick shop tour, what's been going on, all the places, everything's ending up um, so far. And yeah, so that's about it. I'm really stoked. If you guys have any thoughts on um, placement of tools, something different than I was doing that maybe worked better, please let me know. Leave those in the comments below. Um, as always, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. If you're watching this on Facebook, hit the like button, share your timeline, and head over to the MM Wood Studio site page, that is, and like us there as well. And as always, have a great week in the shop. Oh, and yes, I know, I need to get some acoustic paneling. <laughs>